When you find yourself in the midst of a spiritual attack, feeling overwhelmed by the forces of darkness, always remember that God is right there with you. As it is written in Isaiah 41 verse 10, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God's got your back and he's going to block every attack from the enemy. See, life is full of trials and tribulations. But when you walk with God, you're never alone. Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even in your darkest moments, God's light is there to guide you back to the path of righteousness. But let me tell you something, faith alone ain't enough. And you got to put on the full armor of God as described in Ephesians 6 verse 11 to 13. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, it's up to you to stand firm and put your faith into action. Don't let the enemy deceive you into thinking you're alone or not good enough. As it is written in 1 Peter 5, verse 8 and 9, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. God's love is greater than the enemy's lies. And when you embrace that love, nothing can stand in your way. Remember in Romans 8 verse 31, it says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? When you face spiritual attacks, turn to God in prayer, trusting in his strength and guidance. Through prayer and faith, you can overcome anything. And also surround yourself with fellow believers, as it is written in Hebrews 10 verse 24 and 25. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. A strong support system is crucial in fighting spiritual battles. When you feel like you're losing the fight, remember the victory Christ has already won for you. As stated in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in the power of the cross and know that you are more than a conqueror through Christ. So when you face spiritual attacks, stand firm in your faith. Lean on the promises of God and remember that you are never alone. God is with you blocking every attack from the enemy. And through him you are victorious. When the spiritual attacks seem relentless and you start to feel worn down, remember the words of 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 and 9. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. This shows that God's strength is made perfect in your weakness and he will see you through these difficult times. And as you face these spiritual battles, it's essential to stay rooted in God's word. As Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. By meditating on the scriptures, you fortify your spirit and equip yourself with the truth needed to combat the lies and deceptions of the enemy. In the midst of the fight, don't forget the power of praise and worship. Psalm 22 verse 3 tells us that God inhabits the praises of his people. When you lift your voice in praise, you invite the presence of God into your situation and the enemy trembles at the sound of his name. So let your praises rise and watch as the atmosphere shifts in your favor. It's also important to remember the power of your testimony. Revelation 12 verse 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Sharing your story and the victories you've experienced through Christ not only strengthens your own faith, but also inspires others to stand strong in their battles. 
Keep in mind that the enemy may try to isolate you, making you feel like you're the only one going through this spiritual warfare. But the truth is many other believers are fighting the same battles. As Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12 says, the one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Lean on your fellow believers, and together you will be able to overcome the enemy's attacks. When you find yourself in the trenches of spiritual warfare, it's important to stay grounded in prayer. Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. By laying your burdens at the feet of Jesus and trusting in his divine intervention, you'll find peace and strength to persevere. And lastly, always remember that no matter how intense the battle may seem, the victory is already won. In John 16, verse 33, Jesus said, These things I've spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. With Christ on your side, no spiritual attack can ever defeat you. So stand firm, dear believer. Hold on to your faith, lean on your fellow Christians, and trust in the power of God's word. No matter how fierce the spiritual attacks may be, remember that God is with you, blocking every assault from the enemy. Through him, you are more than a conqueror. And in his name, you will triumph. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your guidance and protection as we face the spiritual battles that surround us. We stand firm in the knowledge that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because of his sacrifice. Jesus, we ask you to be our mighty warrior, fighting on our behalf as we navigate this spiritual warfare. Lord, we acknowledge that apart from you, we can do nothing. So we ask that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, equipping us with the full armor of God. May the helmet of salvation protect our minds, the breastplate of righteousness guard our hearts, the belt of truth keep us grounded in your word, and the shield of faith deflect every fiery dart of the enemy. We lift up our fellow believers asking that you would surround us all with a hedge of protection and a legion of angels to guard us. May we lean on one another, standing together in faith, united as a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. Lord, we surrender all our fears and anxieties to you, knowing that in you we have perfect peace. We ask that you would give us the wisdom to discern the enemy's tactics and the courage to resist him, steadfast in our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.